go with instant 10. We got an unknown aged male patient confirmed stabbing in the chest per TPD. Happened at a laundromat, so let's see what we got. God, can you imagine getting stabbed in the chest? Depending on where, no. You think you'd rather get shot or stabbed? I don't know. Probably shot. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. It's kind of like, would you rather burn to death or freeze to death? I can see lights already from here. Yeah. Rescue 5 is on scene. Oh. What's up, y'all? Got uh, what looks like a laceration to the chest, to the hip, and then also on his forearm. Anytime we get a call for a stabbing, the main concern is where the patient stabbed. So if it's anywhere to their head, neck, or torso, that's very life-threatening. How are his lung sounds? Clear. Clear all over? All right. We're going to go to uh, Tampa General, more than likely. I'm going to trust him for my help. Huh? So you don't want to go to the hospital? I can respect that. How's your breathing? Do you have any trouble breathing? Hurts? OK. All right, are you able to, uh, with assistance from this gentleman here, are you able to walk over here and have a seat for me? Did she cut you or did she direct stab you? Do you know? Somebody going to jail this time. She going to jail. Look, buddy, I know you're really upset, but you need to calm down and let me know what kind of treatment you want. No, she's not with you. I want to talk to the police. All right. You do understand the police will meet you at the hospital, right? You want to get your side of the story, right? I want my side of the story. Now you talking to her boy, they talking to me. I'm the one hurt. She ain't hurt. Ain't me. I stole her. I'm the one f***ed up. He's having tunnel vision. He's not really thinking about his own health at this point. He wants to make sure that he files his report. There's a lot of unknowns as far as internal injuries or how significant this stab wound is. And we really want to get him checked out as soon as possible. You're going to sign this right here for me. This states that you're not going. Here's the deal. If you don't want to go to the hospital, I need you to sign this. Right, man. I can't make you sign nothing. I don't want to sign it. OK, well, then, then here's the other option. At least let me check you out so I can make sure there's nothing like threatening right now. Okay, well, listen. I want to Sir, I ain't got my left deal. OK. Refusals are really, really tough. You always want to do everything you can within your ability to care for a patient and make sure that they get the ultimate care that they need. We always try our best, but at the end of the day, if they don't want to go, we can't force them. Went from being a trauma alert to a freaking refusal. Hey, man. What the hell? I mean, I don't know, but if someone stabbed me, I'd be going to the hospital. Rescue 13. Rescue 13, 57-year-old male. His wife says he has an internal defibrillator for his heart that keeps going off. And now it's nice. Is that, that's not this the guy. Is the same that's guy, the yeah. The guy with the uh, pacemaker? Yeah, that went off yesterday. I recognize it from a call we had had the day before. He refused all treatment and care. So red flags go up because there's obviously something wrong with this patient's heart. And at any point, he could die. Is that him right there? Yeah. Good eye. Hey, partner. Fine. Ain't nothing wrong. But it keeps going off, buddy. I'm afraid you're going to die. Do you know why it's firing? Because your heart's going too slow or it's going too fast. And it's firing multiple times means something's going on with your heart. Look, look, I am afraid that we're going to get a call in about an hour and you're going to be dead. How many times has your defibrillator gone off? I, I understand. And I want to make sure that you can get home. But you're going to die if you don't go to the hospital. Oh. I knew right then that he had just received another shock from his defibrillator. What's going on, man? But you said that the last time that we, we, we saw you on the last block over there. You said you was OK. I am. I am. How many times have I your defibrillator fired since we seen you last time? I just want to take me up and lay down. Come on, man. What, why, are you, why are you walking away? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm Buddy, it, it's game over. Send me TPD. I'm going to need a Baker Act. If we feel that the patient is going to be a harm to themselves or others, 
and are refusing care. No, we can't leave you alone. They can be Baker Acted and forced to go to the hospital, and they don't let them leave the hospital for 72 hours. He's going now. No, come yeah, on, yeah. man, I'm fine. You, you got, no, it's man, game I'm over. Fine. Come on now, so you just gonna run off again? Huh? Yeah, you if you run, they're you, gonna you arrest you. Ryan, come here, baby. Ryan, come here, baby. If you run, you're gonna get arrested, baby. I just wanna check your eyes, sugar. This patient's getting too worked up, too agitated, and we decide we're not gonna chase after him. We don't wanna push this guy's heart to the limit to where he gets shocked again. He jetted out the side and ran away. Shocked him four times back to back last week. He wants to go to the hospital, but he, he's, uh, he's concerned about, about uh, this little job that he got going on tomorrow. And then... Cause my grandbaby birthday, my grandbaby, uh -oh. he said he wanted to give her a lot of gifts. Now I'm in a dilemma. Do I have this guy Baker acted for three days not letting him get to his job and get gifts for his granddaughter. I obviously got to err on the side of the patient's health. You ride the ambulance. Listen, and if you go voluntarily, they'll check I can't you out. You. If you're OK, you come home. If you make let's us go, list. But I'm fine. Let's go. OK, let's go. Let's pull the rescue let's car around go. right now. Okay. We'll hook you up to the monitor out yeah, here. Right here. Yeah, okay. Okay. OK. 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 At this point, I'm pretty sure that it's going to show some type of abnormality so that I can show him that something is actually wrong with him, and he will let me take him to the hospital. Everything looks fine, and this is just going, driving me nuts. And it, it does. It looks fine. Okay. I mean, y'all are the medical. If he's medically good, there wasn't a reason I even though the EKG showed no abnormalities, this patient still could be having a cardiac event. If he's adamant about not going, I don't wish to Baker Act him, but he's definitely gonna need to follow up with his cardiologist. Okay, Ronnie, listen to me, okay? So, no, 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 my turn. I'm gonna have you sign another one of those papers. If I come back, look at me. You're going to the hospital with me, okay? And I don't want any arguments. I also need to say, in front of all these people, that I think it's a horrible choice that you're not going to the hospital and that something bad could happen to you. Do you understand that? OK. OK. You are signing against medical advice. We are stating that you need to go, and you're stating that you're not going to go. Yes, if you don't mind. I appreciate you doing what you did. I understand. But ain't nothing wrong with me. And I understand, but I'm worried about you, and it's my job to be worried about you. <laughs> I take 10 people to the hospital a day that don't need to go, and you're the one that does. Have a better night. I would say he is like most men when they're sick. We'll wait until we're about to die before we'll admit that something is truly going on. If he goes home and he goes to sleep, it's probably not going to fire again, and he can go get it checked out in the morning. And I don't want to see him Baker at you for three days when I respect his intentions of wanting to go to work you know, to give his granddaughter some gifts. Dude, you are tugging at every heartstring that I have, <laughs> and I'm a little bit angry at the same yep. time, so I don't know what so to you do. You can't even be mad. I really hope I made the right decision with that guy. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Grand <sighs> enough. Grand enough. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.